Hey everybody, welcome to Coffee and Chat. There's a few things to talk about, a few things have been happening as many of you would be aware. I'll go and grab my drink, wonder what it might be. I'll be back very soon. Do, 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 do. Yeah, this is what I'm drinking. I'm not having coffee today because um, I usually only have coffee in the morning. And it's no longer morning. Uh, this morning I filled up with uh, editing a video for this coming Friday and got carried away with the edit and the morning's gone so I don't really want to have another coffee now because it'll just the caffeine will do me in so I'm going to have a beer <laughs> with you today and what I'm having I put it away already with Great Northern I think if I hide my eyes from the camera the focus the, the way the Sony is set up it it, it looks for eyes. I don't know how it does that, but for me to get the focus to happen on there, I've got to hide my little face so you can see what this is. So Great Northern Brewing Company, super crisp lager, lager originated in Cairns, where they, of course, there are lots of marlin fishing and, and all sorts of other things go on. Uh, so there's a little bit about it here somewhere. The Great Northern Brewing Company was established in Cairns in 1927 to brew a beer especially uh, for the unique Australian climate, well according to Northern Australia. In tribute to this brewery, uh, the Great Northern Brewing Company now continues this tradition by delivering a beer that is brewed longer to produce a super crisp refreshing lager that's perfect for the endless summer of the Great North. Well, of course, I don't live in the Great North. I live in the far deep south of Australia, only about 30, 34 degrees south latitude. And uh, as you can see, we've still got great weather. Oh, it is starting to cool down. Um, had a few cool days, but today is still around 20 degrees and we're only a couple of weeks away from winter. So I wouldn't call that cool, but Anyway, it's not the Great North, and I do like uh, pale ales, so a super crisp lager is getting it. Let's listen to this. Oh, yeah, that's good. I like that. Uh, cheers, everybody. A bit of a generic brand, I know. It's a bit cheaper to buy. But I quite like it. It's a light brew, about 3.75%, something like that. And not bad stuff. Yeah, 3.5. So there you go. What's been happening? Well, of course, you all know that last week was the funeral uh, and memorial service for my mum, which was pretty full on, as you can imagine. And I think I might have mentioned that it was up to me to uh, do a lot of the uh, groundwork. My brother lives in Canberra, my sister lives way up the country, miles from Melbourne. So yes, I, it was an incredibly busy week for me. <laughs> to say the least, unbelievably busy. And uh, yeah, it was, it was great though. It ended up being really good. Everything went down really well. Got a few photos, share them with you. Uh, it was a great day. we got here. Check this out. Ah, this is, this is Sylvie everybody. Come to have a sniff of my beer. Harry is usually the one who comes and joins us. He is, she is around, but Sylvie's decided to step in. Yeah, so Friday was a great day. Um, uh, the drama continued though, it was just completely full on, um, I can't actually go into detail here, but it was like one of those days where everything happens, and it happened. <laughs> Unbelievable day, and it continued for the whole weekend. Did not stop, Friday was the funeral memorial, Friday night, family drama, fortunately not directly directed straight at me, but 
family drama. You know how families can sometimes be. And um, so what are you wanting to do, Sylvia? You want to get down? There you go. And uh, that was Saturday, a uh, Friday night. Continued into Saturday morning. All sorts of stuff happening, and um, and has gone on the whole weekend. Another thing that's happened on Saturday is uh, another thing I can give you scant details in on is that there's um there's sort of medical things going on here, there, and everywhere. <laughs> I can tell you that there's medical stuff. It's not to do with me. I'm quite well. Jenny's well. My kids are all well, but it's sort of the slightly more distant family. There's just stuff. Wow. Goodness. You just wonder when it will all end. Anyway, that's good. Uh, as many of you are also aware, I applied for that job and got it. And I had to do a police check for that job. Well, I was doing my police check when all the drama was happening of last week. And I made a mistake in filling out the form. I actually... As weird as this sounds, I put my wrong birth date on the form. And I don't know, it, it has to be a typo because you just never forget your birthday. <laughs> so I put the wrong, the, the birthdays didn't match up. You've got to put a copy of your license in with the police check. The birthday didn't match with the license that I had printed. So the thing came back to me and I've had to redo the whole thing. So now I can't actually start the job until the police check is done and submitted and approved and then I'm able to start work because you're not you're not able to work in aged care without a, a current police check and I can't have a current police check without my birth date being correct so slowed down everything so I'm still around here on YouTube doing full on thing of what I always have been doing <laughs> Your gain, my loss to some extent. I don't mind. It's fine. Gives me a, it might give me an extra two weeks doing all my stuff here. It was great yesterday to put together a video of all the food reviewers here in Australia, and I did miss out one, which I noted in that description box, uh, which I was completely unaware of. So, it's the food review thing has been a bit slow to gather pace. In Australia uh, but it is happening it's all happening there's at least eight of us now nine and there's and there's a lot of other quite small channels who are just sort of making their first steps so who knows what it will all look like in a very short period of time so it's looking good anyway so it was good to detail everybody and if you want to check out that video I might put it up here so you can have a look at it because if you're interested in other Australian food reviewers, then check them out and subscribe to them. At least have a look at them. Because and there's all sorts of different stuff. No one's copying anybody else. Everybody's unique. It's great to see. At the moment, we're in autumn or fall, and one of the things we did on Sunday was to get away from everything. We just Jenny and I went out to a nearby town and had a look at the autumn colours. two cats at my feet here. Fortunately they're not jumping all over me. Uh, this Friday's video will be me and Luke doing uh, Doritos after dark. Which I know have been around for a while here in Australia but I thought it's about time Luke and I did them. Uh, and then Saturday and maybe even Sunday's videos are still to be worked out. Still a total mystery even to me. So I have no idea what I'm going to be doing. So anyway, it's been great to, I really enjoyed doing that video yesterday of highlighting everybody. Um, good to catch up with some new people in, in regard to food reviews here in Australia. Guys, thanks for watching. 
can't think of anything else to say at the moment. I, it's just so full on. I don't know if you're aware, in Australia, uh, in regard to mum's funeral and that, to settle everything takes weeks and even months and possibly even a year. And I'm talking about estate and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I've got to get the death certificate happening and there's, it takes six weeks to get a death certificate. We can't close off accounts. We can't do anything until we have that death certificate and everything is official. So it's a really, uh, it's a really big time consuming process to go through to settle somebody's estate. And of course, just like the funeral and the memorial service, because I'm here in Melbourne, I'm the one left, excuse me, carrying the baby. So I've got all sorts of stuff to handle as well as everything else that I do. So guys, anyway, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you enjoyed those little interludes of what we've been doing. And I'll see you all again very soon. Bye. And cheers.